Hey, what's up, guys? Darknet14, and, uh, um, yeah, well, these are the three new Noble map packs for Halo Reach. I just bought them today. They just came out today, and I bought them. They're actually, they're actually really sweet maps. This one, Anchor 9, I loved going out in space, dude. I mean, it's just fun. You <laughs> just, like, jump around. You're like, you're like Michael Jordan or some of these jumping abilities. I mean, I wish I had these. They would help for basketball. But, um, yeah, um, I tried to get some online gameplay for you guys of these new maps, but I played for probably, I don't know, a couple hours. Well, maybe not a couple hours. I probably played, like, a good amount of games just looking for these maps, and I don't know where you find them online. <clears throat> I mean, I know the last map, um, Break, Breakpoint, Breakpoint, I know that one's a invasion map, so I played invasion a couple times, and I, I just couldn't find these maps online. I'm not really sure where to find them. There's no DLC playlist or anything, so yeah. Um, I hope to get some online gameplay and new maps for you guys, but as of right now, I couldn't find anything. So I just hopped in some custom games. Thought I'd show you guys what the maps look like. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And yeah, as I was saying, this is um. Anchor 9, it's set inside a UNSC freighter, giant Star Wars ship thing, and it's actually, it's really, it's a really cool map. They comp the Bungie creator game development map maker dudes compared it to the Pit from Halo 3, which was one of my favorite maps. I mean, it was, the Pit was a sweet map. Because they compared to the pit, because this map is very symmetrical. It's the same thing on both sides. You have multiple routes to get to each side. There's you can go on the out space side, or there's another path on the opposite side, and then there's the middle route, kind of like the pit out has those and how it had those three routes. Now I don't know if there's a. I don't think that I found there wasn't a sniper on the map. I didn't really check it too much. I I did run around and I couldn't find a sniper. There is a shotgun, rocket launcher. DMRs and all that good stuff, but from what I found, I don't think there is a sniper rifle, which is too bad, because that was what made the pit cool, in my opinion. I love the two sniper rifles on the pit. And, yeah, that's about it for Anchor 9. As you can see, you're all in space. Got a bunch of other UNSE freighters that I decided to take some shots at, just because they were annoying me. Actually, it sounds really cool, though, when you shoot out in space. It's like, po, 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 po. Yeah, I can't do it too good, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Just believe me, okay? Just believe me. And the next map we're going to go here to in like three seconds. There you are. This one's Tempest. This is a pretty sweet map. I liked Tempest. Um, When I first saw this map in like the very first DLC trailer, I thought it was a remake of Valhalla. I was wrong. I will admit that. I said in an earlier video that this was a remake of Valhalla. And I was wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Please forgive me. But no, Tempest is a pretty cool map. I mean, it's not too big, but it's not too small. I mean, it's, it's a good-sized map. There are vehicles. There's a war dog, some mongooses. Um, I didn't find a sniper once again on this map. I This map, I didn't look through the whole thing as much in detail. From what I found, there was a rocket launcher, the war dog. I did find... um. Some DMRs. What else did I find? I think that's it that I know of. I, don't, I didn't really look too much, so there might be a sniper, but it's a cool map. I mean, it's got a cool setting in the whole outdoor, watery, tree ish, forerunner buildings. And I don't know. I don't know what it is about this map, but I just think this is going to be a really fun map to play on. I'm already liking it, and I want to play on it online. So this one had to be pretty good. I liked it so far. Um, yeah, Tempest. There's not much more to say, so... I think this is a kind of cool idea. You got the two lifts that go right to the turrets on each side of the main spot. That's kind of cool. Huh, Tempest. Don't know what to say, so I guess I could just, like, beatbox for you guys or something. Give you a little... A little something like that beatboxing it up. I like beatboxing. Beatboxing is fun. You know, it's just one of those things that you can just do wherever. Just get a quick little beat going. Just... 
I mean, you could just go, go for hours, just beatboxing it up, man. It's pretty sweet. Um, and this, this is coming to the end of Tempest, and we'll go to the next map here pretty soon. Give it a minute. There's Rocket Spawn. This jump actually is kind of lame, because it doesn't even get you over this crashed. I don't know if that's a pelican or whatever, what it is exactly, but it's crashed. It doesn't even get you over it. I mean, it gets you stuck right there. And if you're wondering what I'm shooting at, just don't even ask, because I don't even know. This is Breakpoint. I spent more time on this map because this map is very, very large. It's a big map. Um, it's made for invasion, which will be sweet to have a new invasion map. I mean, there there only is two invasion maps, so to have one more watch would be really cool. Um, but yeah, it's a very big map. Um, I tried to look through most of it, try and show you guys most of the map. I think I covered about all of it. Don't, don't, if I didn't, don't hate on me, I'm sorry, but I think I covered a good chunk of it, and this is what it looks like, I mean, you got some giant forerunner building over there, and it's like in the snow, and it's cool, because I'm from Minnesota, so I'm very accustomed to lots and lots and lots of snow, so I like snow maps, they hold a special place in my heart, and yeah, this map is cool, it's got from what I can tell, it has the War Dog, Banshee, Ghost. A Wraith comes out of nowhere later. Like, I swear it wasn't there before, and it comes out later. But it's got all those. It has a Falcon, like, later on when you... It's got a Falcon and a Banshee later on when you get through um, in some of the invasion uh, rounds or whatever they're called. I can't think of what they're called. It's got one of those. It's got a rocket launcher. It's got a sniper rifle. Um... Sorry about that. Got parents coming down when you're commentating, so I have absolutely no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so I'm just going to start over. Or not start over. I'll just make something up. Um, yeah, Breakpoint. Good map. Snow. Guns. Halo. That's all you need. That's all you need in life right there. Snow, guns, and Halo. That's Dark Knife 14's words of wisdom words of life guns snow and halo that's all you need you get that you're good you're set for the next 20 years and here's a sniper now you guys know where it spawns it's kind of in a sneaky little spawn down there now you guys know word um this is about coming to an end here but yeah three new maps finally halo reach i mean when the halo reach came out it had very few maps, which was very disappointing. I mean, for Bungie, they like are like map craziness peoples. They make lots of maps. Halo 3 had a ton of maps. By the time this game was over, I mean, that game had had of like, what, 25 maps? Yeah, but Halo Reach, when it came out, it didn't have that many, map, very many maps. It had Forge World maps, which, which were, you know, they're alright. I mean... I like more real maps like these than Forge World maps. Like, Asylum, I hate. The only Forge World map I actually like is Pinnacle. That's about the only one. Otherwise, the rest of them, The Cage, absolutely hate The Cage. And yeah, but it's good to see some new maps. I mean, it'll bring new life to Halo Reach. It's going to be sweet. I'm going to play it up. If you guys want to play with me, go ahead. We'll play some Reach, play some custom games until we can find out how to play this online. I'm not going to be sniped that rocket out of the air.